Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to talk about how to make a meaningful apology. This is a really important subject in terms of having healthy, nurturing, respectful relationships. Because there's going to be a time when you are going to put your foot in your mouth, saying something that is hurtful to somebody else, or maybe you say something to a mutual friend or a family member, and it gets back to this other person, and they end up being hurt or angered by what you said or did. None of us is perfect, so we're all going to have to make apologies. In fact, I tell my clients, even before they sign up to work with me, that most likely there will be times when I put my foot in my mouth and I might anger them. And it's up to them to let me know that that happened so that we can do the healing work involved and I can take responsibility and we can move on. It's part of the human condition. So... Here are the four steps that I believe will help you to make a really great apology. And remember that with your children, even though the younger ones will tend to forgive and forget and move on really quickly because they're just always in the now, your teenage kids might hold grudges and be really angry. So model the behavior that you want them to do. They're not going to do what you say. They're going to do what you do. So here, again, are the four steps. First, truly from your heart, tell them that you're sorry and that you apologize for the thing that they brought up that really hurt or angered them. Second, ask them what you need to do differently. Third, Make sure you do that thing differently in whatever way they told you that they wanted you to do it so that they wouldn't be hurt or angered anymore. If they tell you that they don't like sarcasm, don't be sarcastic around them. If they don't like cussing, don't cuss in front of them. If you're talking behind their back, stop. I mean, these things are pretty simple, but yet we human beings have a hard time with it for whatever reason. And fourth, you allow them the time they need to give you forgiveness. It could be a matter of hours, days, months, or even years. It takes whatever the time is that it takes them to do it. Everyone is different, and it also might have something to do with their past history, and if you injured them in a way that they've been injured before in the past, it might take them longer to resolve it in their mind and forgive you for it. It always takes the bigger person to give an apology, a true apology, than to sit there and try to defend indefensible behavior. Because this is the thing, no one wants to be treated negatively, no one wants to feel like they're being talked about behind their back, especially if it's negative things. and may even be untrue things. We humans are really good at surmising stories regarding the people in our lives. And more often than not, they have nothing to do with facts. And that can cause a lot of problems too. In any case, I truly hope that you got something out of this and that you will, from now on, use this method of making apologies because you're going to find 
that your relationships are going to be a whole lot stronger and better because of it. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, there may be even life-altering with the information that we have shared here. And to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A T. R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner-Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you.